I'm going to ask you a question and you already know the answer to this question. The question is simply this. Between the rock and water, dripping water, who is the most powerful? Of course, your answer is going to say it depends. Depends on what? Depends on time. Time is the equalizer between the rock that is standing boldly and the water that is dripping benignly. At the end of the day, the winner is going to be the person who is the most consistent. And of course, you tell me the rock is consistent. So is the water. Time is also consistent. What is the rock doing? The rock is doing absolutely nothing. It's just there being bold. But water is dripping. Water is being doing some action every single working drop. And at the end of the day, it is the person who is very consistent that is going to win the day. Today in the podcast, we are going to add one more area of a mistake that people normally make when they're coming up with their personal brands. You already know the answer, but stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. Faithfulness, loyalty, that is what you find from fans, raving fans, F-A-N-S, football clubs, soccer clubs, baseball, basketball, and all these mighty sports, they have raving fans, and these fans are loyal, and one interesting thing about fans is that whether their team is suffering or not, they are sticking with it. You will seldom in this world find a disloyal fan. Actually, loyalty will cause people to do great, mighty things. It will also cause people to do lousy and stupid things because of the suffering probably that they are going through while they are supporting something. And so loyalty is important and faithfulness is important. In marriage, no normally talk about faithfulness also. And it is absolutely critical. In relationships, there is faithfulness. It is absolutely critical. The same thing happens with personal brands. The aspect of loyalty and faithfulness is there to begin with. And you've got to build your brand to center around that. We've been discussing in the podcast, in this mini-series, we've been discussing what are some of the mistakes that we normally make with our personal brands. See, it is very easy to rise up and declare that you are standing for this or you're standing for that. And people normally do business or interact with life in life with you depending on the brand or the perception that they see in you because your brand is what someone sees on you what someone perceives about you what value they see you bringing what compassion and care they see you have what passion and compassion and passion they see inside of you that causes a perception with you and one of the biggest mistakes that people normally make with their personal brand number one is ignorance not to know that they are a brand that they think that only 
guys like Nike, HP, guys like Apple, Microsoft, guys like CNN and Fox. Those ones are the ones who need to care about branding. And then the individual is not a brand. That will be a mistake. See, everyone with a heartbeat, everyone with blood flowing through their veins is a brand and they need to know it. So if you do not know that you are a brand, that is the very first mistake that you are making with your brand. The second mistake is about clarity. People are not so clear about what their brand is and so they are meddling in this and they are meddling in that. And if their name comes up, no one can identify them with anything because there is no clarity. The third mistake is lack of seriousness or lousiness where they do not spend time, they do not spend energy, they do not spend purpose, passion, and they do not spend money on building that brand. And so it's not excellent, it's not even average, it's just flat out lousy. That is the third mistake. The fourth mistake is that it doesn't have focused value. What do you do? What are you about? People cannot answer that question probably because you spread yourself too thin. You, you, you're saying you're doing everything. You know, you can do this, you can do that, you can do this, you can do that. And there's just nothing someone can identify you with. It is a mistake lacking value. And then yesterday we discussed the mistake of broken focus, which I want to continue discussing today with talking about inconsistency broken focus is different from inconsistency and let me explain that today because today the mistake that very many people make mistake number six is lack of consistency with broken focus people start something and they stop and then they start something else and then they stop and then they start something else and then they stop but with inconsistency, they stay on course with loyalty on the same brand. But the consistency with which they are exemplifying this brand, it is not as good as it's supposed to be. See, there is, two, there is consistency in this manner. Someone who is running a mile every single month is consistent, even if they're doing it for 20 years. That is consistency. But the, the question with consistency is what is the difference? What is the gap? What is that space between two actions? What is that interval of time? That is the most important thing with consistency. It has to be a shortest interval of time that you're doing with things. Remember the story of the rock and water. If the drip of water on that rock is once a year, I'm telling you, there will be nothing, I mean, negligible change. In fact, there is going to be no change whatsoever. That drop has to be consistent every single second to be able to make a difference. And that is the same important thing about our brands. What are we doing consistently to be able to up our brand, to up our brand, to make it in the face of people, to make it excellent, to make an innovation out of it consistently, to add value to the world, to make our perception, to control the narrative. What we do consistently is what matters. But if what you've done with your brand is today at the beginning of the month, and then tomorrow you're doing nothing and the next week you're doing nothing that is inconsistency chances are that your brand checks all the big boxes in terms of standards for a great brand this does not mean that that is all that is needed that you know i have a logo i have a vision i have a mission I have the value that I'm offering to people, then I can sit back. The other day I was in a debate with someone, especially in these COVID-19 lockdowns and curfews all over the world, where Facebook went on and they said that they are going to offer video conferencing services to rival Zoom. Of course, they did not say that they're rivaling Zoom. And so I went and I said that, okay, the battle lines have been drawn. It is about to get bloody and dirty. And someone said, ah, you got no need to worry about that because 
you know zoom is for corporates and facebook is for those ads people i mean the masses and so on so there's nothing to worry about that and i say that if that will be the thing that zoom will be doing just sitting back and saying that there is nothing to do i mean we have already won this war won this battle it would be a wrong thing it would be being inconsistent as a brand see consistency speaks so loud and also inconsistency speaks so loud to your targeted audience and they're shouting inconsistency shouts that she is too busy he is too busy he doesn't care she doesn't care and doesn't have time for us doesn't have time for this probably she is not doing this anymore probably he is not doing this anymore that is what inconsistency is communicating let me tell you in the branding world in the personal branding world a day is important a microsecond is important if a month passes and there is nothing you've done about your personal brand you are obsolete in fact if a week passes and you've done nothing about your personal brand you are wasting away slowly so consistency is important you've got to be doing it over and over again with laser like consistency with utmost loyalty and consistency and that is how you fall off the picking order if you become inconsistent the great mistake sixth great mistake of a lousy brand it is lack of momentum in building it lack of momentum in building a brand can affect you because the world is always changing the world doesn't stop to wait for you just the fact that you've already carved out a niche for you doesn't mean that it belongs to you the world keeps changing ask nokia nokia should have stayed consistent with the changes in the environment they were already the leading phone uh, cell phone manufacturer in the entire world boasting millions millions upon millions of cells every quarter hundreds of millions around the whole wide world and then the smartphone revolution came and they stayed consistent i mean they became inconsistent they did not move with the times and guess what they are nowhere they partnered with microsoft and tried to revive themselves and it just never happened so if you and i are going to build our brands we need to remain consistent inconsistency is going to make us to stay back to become obsolete at the end of the day charles j givens say that success requires fast expending 10 units of effort to produce one unit of results your momentum will then produce 10 units of results with each unit of effort we need to pause and just sink that in that success requires fast expending 10 units of effort to produce just a single unit of results and then your momentum will then produce 10 units of results with each unit of effort that means that the tide has already changed because momentum is now what is driving the thing and momentum doesn't come when you are inconsistent momentum comes with consistency every time you're doing something and you're not seeing results stay on the course stay consistent you're not seeing the likes you're not seeing raving fans stay consistent the worst you can do is to give up and say ah this thing doesn't work because you've seen one unit of result and you've expended 10 units of effort keep consistent keep the momentum going there's a, going to come a point in time when there's going to be a tipping point where the momentum will now see 10 units of results with one unit of effort the sixth biggest mistake that people normally make with their brands is to stay inconsistent 
in developing it. Do not be one of them. Tomorrow we'll discuss something else. Until then, bye-bye. A special shout out to my mentor Jeffrey Howard of Visionary Business University found at mastermindmentor.com who has graciously provided me with the soundtrack and the introductory track to this podcast. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.